You guys got uh, got back to a, a real practice yesterday for the first yeah. time in a little while. How was it out there? Oh, it was fun. It felt good. It felt the energy. It's a big game for us. We're all excited to be here. You know, to, to take four or five days off, it, is it uh, is it a little rush to get a shake off, or is you guys kind of hit it ready to go right away? Or? Uh, there might have been a little bit of rest, you know, having Christmas over the break. Yeah. We had to get our legs back under, for, back underneath us a little bit, but I feel like it went well. We'll be ready to go again today. Uh, did you go home? You yeah, I did. I actually went home for Christmas. Got to spend some time with the family. I'll see them again when they come up for the game. Uh, what is that? Four or five hours over here from, from LA? Yeah, six hours. Six hours. Mm -hmm. uh, getting to have a pretty good contingent come over? Yeah, it's just, there's just should be a lot of people coming over. They're all excited. They're extremely excited to be here and watch them play in this game. Uh, been you know, very successful season, but how important is it to sort of cap it off with a big win, a, a top 20 kind of a win and, and a big program like this? Uh, this is extremely huge for our program, especially it being the Fiesta Bowl. And we've been here twice before. People think about Boise State, they usually think about the Fiesta Bowl wins. They don't really think about the other bowl wins <laughs> as much as they do the Fiesta. So, I mean, this is a big game, not only for this team, but just for Boise State University, Bronco Nation. And we're excited to be here. We're going to give it what we have. You hear from any of those old, old uh, Fiesta Bowl guys from, from the, the yeah. past two games? Did they, yeah. they put any pressure on you guys? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we better not lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Who you know off of uh, off of either of those teams? Uh, I know a lot of guys. Yeah. Like Jamar, Jamar Taylor. You know, uh, I know Brandon Thompson, George, Jerron. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of. Them. Uh, you know, how cool is this for you guys that you know, heard about that for so many years here to, to actually get to go do it yourselves? Yeah, I mean, we feel like it's huge just to just to know that we've made it ourselves. Like you said. Um, a lot of the players from the other Fiesta Bowl teams have went on and, you know, played in the NFL, and they've been extremely successful. And to know that our team here that we have this year is actually up there with those teams and made it to a big bowl like this, I mean, it means a lot to us. What, uh, you know, what's the biggest challenge you guys are going to face with, with Arizona's offense? I believe the biggest challenge to face is probably the tempo and the quarterback. He you knows how to how to run their run their shit pretty well, and and he's a, he's a big playmaker. Um, it's the quarterback and the running back have gotten all the attention. I know they got one receiver with big numbers. Mm -hmm. what, what do you see from the receiver crew? I mean, they have a lot of receivers. They do a great job. They can they can make plays in open space. And they catch the ball well. And they'll get open down the field also. The horse was saying they've got a lot of. You know, run past stuff that makes it difficult to, to key on what they're doing. As a safety, what do you have to do to make sure you're, you're reading the plays correctly? I just have to be disciplined with my call, be disciplined with my eyes, and not try to do too much back there. Just take care of my job, and I should be all right. <clears throat> harder to come up and support the run with that style of offense? Yeah, it could be a bit harder because, like you said, every play is a could be a run or a pass, just depending on what the read is from the quarterback. So. It could be tough to try to, to try to guess, and if I do enough guessing, then they'll probably make a big play. But I'm just going to be extremely disciplined with my eyes, and my eyes will lead me to the right spot. How much more studying have you done for this game than for, for a normal game? A bit more studying for this game. It is a big game. It's the Fiesta Bowl, and it's the last one of the season. Plus, you had three weeks. So. Yeah, plus I had three weeks. Uh, been doing something on uh, on Harse and his first season here. And what what's the biggest impact you've seen from from him? You know, coming in and taking this program over. I think Harson did a great job. He has extremely high enthusiasm for this program and passion for this game, and we're able to gravitate around that. And I feel like it's been a great transition for us. You know, it's going to continue to rise. What did you expect when he got here? I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> I heard a lot of things about him. Um, before when he was a coordinator here and just for him to come back I was up to see what's going on for myself. You know. uh, 
just sort of yeah. kind of weird overlap this week with Washington coming into town for for their bowl game and all those mm-hmm. old coaches. You, you, you expect to run into those guys? Would, would you want to run into them this week? Or would you rather just do your own thing? Or? I mean, I wouldn't mind running into them. It's always good to see <laughs> to see them again. But uh, at the same time, we're here for a reason. We have to focus on our game. Yeah. Um, you talked to anybody? You texted any, anybody over the, over the last year for, from your old coaches? Uh, I th- yeah, I talk to them every now and then, just a little bit. Just a you know, good luck here or a great job there or <laughs> something like that, but not really too much of an actual conversation. Weird that you, know, you guys work together so closely day in, day out, and but the way this, the way college football is, it's like there's this clean break and you just kind of yeah. go your separate ways. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, they're extremely busy and so are we, and we're trying to accomplish the same goal. So. There's not really much room for conversation until the off season. <laughs> Does it say I mean kind of you know reconnect with some of those people you know when your career's yeah, over definitely. maybe d- down the line? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean they're all great people, and I'm extremely blessed to be able to have them as part of my coaches and throughout my collegiate career, and I'll definitely be staying in contact with them. You've had already in your career, you know Marcel, you've had Juice, you've had Jimmy Lake. Uh, you know what's it been like going through you know so many different guys teaching in your position. I think it's been good. I, I like to see the variety of coaches and what they have to bring to the table. And Each coach has their, their strong points, and I'm able to learn from each one, which in turn will make me a better football player.